going on to you Pisces. So you Pisces have the Queen of Cups, the uh, Seven of Pentacles, and the Emperor right here. So what I'm seeing here for you, okay, what I'm seeing here for you Pisces is that the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles um, and the Emperor speaks to the level of appreciation that you Pisces feel. Um, just talking a little bit low today because, you know, I'm just I'm just kind of real relaxed, enjoying myself right now, you know, enjoying how my life is and I'm just relaxing and stuff like this. So I'm kind of calm. But um, so. Um, so, yeah, so you you tour, excuse me, you Pisces are just. Um, you're feeling appreciated. I'm trying to figure out how I was going to approach this. You're feeling appreciated. You Pisces definitely are in a situation where you have set things up for yourself in the future to benefit yourself. Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor. Seven of Pentacles represents plotting things or making things grow by patience. So planting seeds now so that in the future, they can most definitely get to where it is that you want them to be. So the, the so now the Queen of Cups represents right, which is the card before that, feeling definitely feeling like everything is going to work out in your favor, because it's not like you're talking about what you want, but there's no benefits. You Pisces actually put in the work for the things that you want, and then the things that the Emperor right here is about how since that's the case, a lot of you are very much so uh, happy to be in the position uh, that you're in. Because those those things that you implemented all those years ago or months ago, they're actually being able to be used to your advantage right now. You start, and if not that, if they're not being able, if they're not at the point where you can use it full out, right? Some more money or maybe you got some investments you got some investments here and there. Point is, you Pisces are starting to see what of a of a benefit it is, because you Pisces are starting to see that the things that what you've implemented all that time ago is actually starting to turn back and give you rewards because you put in the work up front. So a lot of those things are financial. A lot of those things are resource based. A lot of those things are health based. Um, the getting better quality sleep. So now the the page of swords and the lovers right here is about since that's the case, a lot of you Pisces also have to draw the line when it comes to um, when it comes to certain things in love. I'm seeing that um, the reason why is because of the six of cups. Let me just get straight to it. The six of cups. So you know what this means, exes coming back. People that you had some form of romantic interest in coming back after some time because they, they're they hard-headed. They wanted to do things the difficult way. They wanted to be disrespectful. They wanted to take you Pisces like your garbage and that's not true at all. So what happens is, so what happens is the four of swords and the ace of cups which is which brings meaning to all the five cards that I that I went ahead and actually w uh, previously talked about with the Queen of Cups and the and the um, Seven of Pentacles and stuff like this. The Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups speaks to right, and it's just before the Six of Cups. This speaks to how once again you Pisces were drawing the line when this person decided to contact you because. You don't want to have to talk to them again. This person is contacting you and, you know, being quite delusional about how they're going to get you Pisces to come back. And what they don't understand about you Pisces is that they don't want, excuse me, is that they want you back. But what they don't understand about you Pisces is that you don't want them back. So they want you back. You don't want them back. And that's how it is when Pisces leaves. When Pisces leaves, right? When a Virgo leaves, it's, you know, 
it's quiet usually it can can uh it can be quiet when a when a virgo or a pisces leave because they're pulling from the same polarity they're pulling from opposite polarities of one another what happens when you scare a fish away? It goes away, right? So the same, right, Pisces fish, it swims away. So what happens when it comes to a Virgo, right? A Virgo gets that same kind of energy, that that going away, that swimming away energy that Virgo gets where they, they reached a point in their life as Virgos where they just can't yell anymore. And that's part of the reason, that's part of where that not yelling comes from it's because we're exhausted and i'm speaking as a virgo right i'm speaking as a virgo but i have a pisces ascendant right pisces rising and it just comes from it it comes from exhaustion it comes from being burnt out it comes from constantly Sometimes people are not taking you as valuable human beings and they treat you like trash. So you Pisces be telling them a million times like they need to respect you while it is that you hear because if they don't ship up, you're going to shape out, you know. You know, excuse me, if they don't shape up, you're going to ship out or they're going to ship out. You know, either way it goes, you Pisces don't have to be around them. You don't have to spend your time with them. And honestly, they don't be listening to you sometimes. Some people listen to you and it ends amicably, right? It ends on the cool, right? Right. But a lot of the times it ends from them not taking you seriously. They do that same thing with Virgos too. They don't take you seriously. So because they don't take you Pisces seriously, you Pisces end up having to leave. You Pisces end up being like, okay, since they don't take you seriously, but they keep disrespecting you, you Pisces just end up leaving them alone. Because a lot of you Pisces very much so have the right idea. Why would you for the life of you decide to have to allow anyone to disrespect you and mistreat you in such a way where you have to really bend over backwards to be able to get along with them because here you Pisces are interacting with them and they're treating you like trash and then they expect you to be okay with that. That would have that would have you Pisces compromise yourself. And I don't and that's not something that you Pisces legitimately want to. That's not something that you Pisces legitimately want to do. I, if you ask me, a lot of you Pisces have developed way more prominent, real if they popping on firecrackers. It's the you know. They are way, you, you Pisces have way more prominent self-respect than that. And that a lot of you Pisces have grown quite a lot to where you Pisces went from letting people have an excuse to mistreat you and disrespect you to now you Pisces, to now you, to now you Pisces being like, it's okay. They don't, you're not going to allow them to disrespect you, but it's okay if they are going to try to disrespect you because you Pisces are not going to be around for them to disrespect. Because you Pisces understand that you are not going to be able to have control over their say so. If they decide that they want to be dysfunctional, that's their say so. And I just see you Pisces accepting people, other people for who they are and just allowing that to be whatever it is. And, and, and because you allow it to be whatever it is, respectfully, you Pisces just step off this, you know. So 
this is what I've been trying to say when I say that people are going to have to step to you correctly because the next couple of cards are the Nine of Wands and the World card, which is about the Nine of Wands is about the you have been through so much. You're just prepared for anything because you Pisces have been through so much. You've been through so much heartbreak. One of the things that you have learned from your life experience is that there is no point in trying to appease to another person for their mistreatment. There's no point in that. The best thing to do from what you Pisces have learned from your own life experience is to focus, excuse me, to focus on yourself and to heal yourself. And that to, in order for a relationship to work, two people has to they have to make it work by putting in a real effort they both have to be healed you know they pop it off firecrackers it is what it is just ignore it but they have to they both have to be healed so the world card now represents up until then you pisces just are enjoying your peace right now you don't have children you don't have significant other you you don't have knuckleheads around you even if you do have a spouse or children or both you don't have the stress that comes with it you pisces very much so are able to enjoy your life and kick your feet up a well-deserved you know kicking of your feet up because you pisces don't have to deal with that so let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. Ah, oh, snap. Sorry about that. Let's clarify. Let's try to clarify one more time. Shuffle up these cards. So to clarify the world, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, yeah. The King of Wands. Then you have the Six of Wands, and you have the Eight of Wands. The Six of the Six of Pentacles, Eight of uh, Cups, King of Wands. Yeah, you know, you Pisces can't lie to y'all selves. Y'all are not going for trying to bend over backwards and allow a person to mistreat you and you actually allow that that's not how you pisces are doing it that's not how you pisces are essentially doing that you pisces are not gonna allow people to disrespect you and you just and you are just expected to sit back there and be okay with it a lot of you like i said before you a lot of you pisces have essentially raised the bar you know, you have a brand new mentality where you can take it or leave it. You don't have to accept that. And you Pisces understand that you don't have to accept it. The Six of Wands and the Eight of Wands speaks to how, like I said, you, you've been through enough experiences to know that that's BS. You got to be, you, Pis you Pisces having to be okay with being disrespected and cheated on or talked to like you're trash. And once again, a lot of you Pisces have really been on a spiritual journey. I want to say within this whole year, y'all have really been on a spiritual journey. You Pisces have, you know, gotten to know a couple of people, but the only way that you Pisces are going to really stick around is if these people show you a form of integrity, a form of decency, right? If they treat you well and if they treat themselves well. I don't, a lot of you Pisces are becoming a lot more selective, right? And that's one of the things that Pisces ends up ends up doing when they're younger. When, when you Pisces are younger and you have little experience or very, very little experience or you don't learn from your mistakes, a lot of you will allow people to disrespect you and treat you like trash. You will, you know, you will. I'm, I know... Trust me, I know. I know Pisces. I know myself. I, I'm Me being a Pisces ascendant myself, we will do that. We will allow people to mistreat us when we are inexperienced. 
right? This is why Pisces and Virgo rule sadomasochism because we will allow people to mistreat us because we want their love so damn bad. And the thing is, is that but as we get more experience, we realize this ain't it because we, because us as Pisces, we learn, we live, we grow, we experience different people and we experience that different people there's different nuances or different unique signatures of those and there's times where you know when you 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 know you Pisces you know you know the differences to where maybe you don't make it with someone where the two of you end up being long-term partners but the person leaves you peacefully and so now that kind of creates, that breaks the programming that you Pisces have a little bit of, of being young and inexperienced and thinking that the only way that people break up is y'all got to go out kicking and screaming. So now you Pisces are in a situation where, wait a minute, a person could peacefully leave you alone and the two of you don't have to go out kicking and screaming. They don't have to ruin your life behind it. So now it's like over the years that you Pisces live, you learn, you grow, you get it. That's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, my email address is kareemspareworks at yahoo.com. Or there's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website where there's a way to get a personal reading from me, bird chart readings, as well as a way to get the books that I have that are on Amazon. Peace.